I can't quite seem to remember how it all happened. We were still talking the night before. I told you about the test that will be done to you the next day so that we'll know what's the best thing to do in order for you to recover immediately. You told me about how you can't sleep and all the things that bothered you. But you also told me that you are getting better. They would always call the hospital to check on you. I wanted to make sure that you're taken care of. I wanted to make sure that you'll be okay. But more than that, I wanted to make sure that you felt loved, important, and treasured. Because you are. Because I do love you with all of me. On the morning of uh, September 4, 2020, I received a phone call at around 6 in the morning. May muta pa ako nun mahari. I already felt in my heart what that phone call was. And even before I answered it, I turned to God and told Him, Lord, I lift everything up to you. Because at 3 a.m., that same day before going to sleep, I asked Harold to play our favorite song for no reason at all. Biglaan, I don't know why. I asked him to play Always Remember Us This Way by Lady Gaga. It was a beautiful song. It's a beautiful song. And we always listen to it every time na nakasakay ka audio. And I always forget the title of that song. Kaya laging pinapahanap ko sa'yo. And you would always play on that morning, my world haunted. My heart skipped the beat. Everything just came crashing down. And in my aloneness, and in my pain, I only cling to the Father above. Just like how we always do, Are, when we are faced with our life's greatest heartaches and pains. I remember how we always remind each other that we have God and how much He loves us. But on that fateful day, the pain and the heartache inside of me was just unbearable. I don't have any time to tell people how you died. Because it does not matter. I intend to tell them how you live because that is what's most important and that is what we always wanted this kind of stories that we always wanted to tell the memories we shared together will be forever a part of who I am our good days will always remind me that once in this lifetime we had each other we can only be there see Madam Ellie, I plan to keep it at that. But I love in our journey together, sharing seven beautiful long years of friendship. There are several lessons we learned in life. These lessons are those that shaped us together and allowed us to grow even more in love with life and with God. The kind of love that overflowed and that was shared to everyone we encountered along the way. Hindi ako magdadrama, pero umiyak na ako, mare. Sorry. Kasi ayaw mo nang madrama, baka sabalin mo ako. But seriously speaking, there's no need to be madrama for everybody. And there are several things that we learned along the way and that I want to share with people as well so that they may also take part in this journey. Number one is humility. 
always be humble. When we first met, I wasn't the most humble person you ever came across with. As a matter of fact, feeling ko noon, ako yung pinakamayabang na kaibigan na nagkaroon ka. Ako yung pinakamayabang na taong makilala mo. But then because you are naturally good, you are good-hearted, you accepted me for who I am. And you committed to changing my ways. To show me the world, the realities of life. You brought me to Kainin, introduced me to people. You brought me to places na first time ko experience, you gave me that experience. And you weren't scared that I, I, I would judge you or I would say something. But you also made sure that you asked me from time to time if I was okay, if I was doing well. You taught me humility in such a way na hindi yun naturo sa akin na kahit na sino. You brought me closer to God. I remember one story. Ito yung pinakaayaw mong ikwento ko but I will make kwento na now about it. When we were in Bicol doing our very first project together, I was vegetarian back then. Maarte, maarte si madam. And we ate at this restaurant and I ordered soup. That was mushroom soup. And I gave clear instructions na sana walang meat or anything that, uh, that has meat products because I was vegetarian. And my order came and there was bacon in it. So okay lang. My patience was tested. Okay lang. Then I, I asked for the soup to be changed. They changed it. I asked for the bacon to be removed. Pero bumalik ulit yung order and it was the same thing. Andun pa rin yung bacon. I don't know why, kung bakit ganun, but I think during the third time that I requested and ganun pa rin, talagang nag-explode ako na insta ko. I gave in to anger and I was like chu 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 nagdakdak ako nagtalak ako dun sa nagsiserve because my request was not uh, granted and you cried and you cried and I remember you telling me na naiisip mo ang parents mo working abroad all their sacrifices na baka ginaganong din sila ng mga makakasalumuhan nila doon ng mga amo nila or ng mga customers nila. Umiyak ka. And I cried. Because I realized I was wrong for doing that. I realized that I wasn't too humble to do that. I was sitting on a high chair doing that. And from that day forward, I changed. Yun yung araw na yun, mahari. I became nicer and you accepted me again. And we continued living our life together since that day forward. Dahil alam natin na magiging okay tayo. Because we have the ability to share the same values that we can adapt with one another and that we can teach each other to be better people. And yun yung mahalaga sa atin, di ba? Sa ating pagkakaibigan. That we are able to ensure that we are growing together to become better people. Always be humble. Always be kind. Always be generous. Number two, gratitude. Ito sobrang importante nito because this is something na never nawala sa atin. We always say thank you. We always say thank you to each other. We always say thank you to people. And this is something I'm very proud of to call Satan because every time that we receive blessings, we receive heartaches in life and challenges, we always say thank you every time nag-uusap tayo. Magpasalamat tayo, man. Magpasalamat tayo. Thank you. Because a life lived with gratitude is a happy life. At alam natin yun deep in our hearts. 
na kahit hindi tayo mismo ang mapasalamatan, it's okay. As long as we know that we said thank you. Thank you because we are allowed to do something good in this world. Because we were used as instruments of something good to happen dito sa mundo. Number three, and I guess this is the most important of all, is purpose. To live a life of purpose. When we were starting, nakakatawa ang mga experiences natin, ang pinagdaanan natin. All those crazy days we would always talk about in front of BNPs, in front of everyone during an event. Magkukwentuhan tayo how about, about how we started. And then one day, we realized that, you know, we were already on the ladder going up. Sa career mo, we were doing great. We were, everything was doing well. But then there was something missing. There was something na parang feeling natin kula. And then I said, how about we do charity works on our own? Walang sponsors, walang nothing. It will be coming from our own hearts. And then immediately you said yes to that. And from that day forward, Mare, I knew that I was with the right person. Because you have a heart of a servant. You were always ready to give. You've always been ready to help. Sa ibang tao man yan, or kung kanino man yan, and you'd always tell me, hindi ka nga nagpapaalam sa akin eh, kasi ako yung laging, ako yung laging kontrabida, because I would always be, kumbaga, uh, the reality check sa ating dalawa. Because I, I know you understand that I was also protecting your hard-earned money. Kaya lagi ang style mo, Mare, hinahirap ko na siya ng ano ha, oh, basta remind me na lang, gano'n na lang. Kasi I would always say, I would always question, bakit, bakit, bakit? Kasi, alam mo yon I didn't want people to abuse you, I didn't want you to be abused, because you know you have a good heart. And I always told you that. But then that's something that I really appreciate sa'yo, because you know your purpose and you lived your purpose. You embraced it, and you made it, and you made sure that you were able to carry out your mission in the lives of people you touched, in the lives of people you encounter along the way. forgive. Parehas yung high blood, we've always been, you know, angry, we've always been mad. But we never hated. We don't hate. We get mad, we get angry, but we don't hate. We always forgive. And that is something that I share with you as well. Because, alam natin na, sige, hayaan na. Sige, Diyos na bahala. Sige, okay na yan. Patawarin na lang natin. Intindihin na lang natin. We're always like that. And I'm proud to say, and I'm proud to share this story with everybody. Ganun po kami ni Lloyd. Kung may nagkasala man sa amin, kung naloko man kami, or kung may nagawa man sa amin, we would always say, hayaan mo na yan. That's not important. What is important is natulungan siya. What is important is yung hindi tayo may ginawang mali. What is important is uh, sana gumanda yung buhay niya. Kung nanloko man siya, it's his karma. And it was very true to you, Mare. It was very true in your heart to let it go. Na okay lang. Walang problema. Let's move on. Life goes on. And that is something that's hard to do now. 
alam ko sa karamihan. That's why I'm sharing this with everybody. Learn how to forgive. Have a forgiving heart. And number five, last but not the least, it may sound cliche, but this is about love. Love without measure. Grabe magmahal yun si Loy. Iba siya magmahal sa mga naging karelasyon niya man or sa mga naging kaibigan. Iba yung pagmamahal niya. It runs deep down sa buong pagkatao niya. It becomes a part of him. And walang limits yun. Pagmahal ka ni Lloyd, mahal ka niya. And I knew, I know, and I felt it every day, how much he loved me. How much he treasured me. Isa ako sa mga nabiyayaan ng pagkakataon na maramdaman ang pagmamahal ng isang Lloyd Cafe Cadena. Dahil nagkaroon ako ng pitong taon ng buhay ko na makasama sa halos araw-araw, na maalagaan siya, at masigurado na sa maganda siyang lugar. All the time. That's why we were able to share that with everybody, lalo na sa mga bayot, sa mga bakla ng taon. That's why we were able to do things together. We were conquering the world. Doing all the good that we can using all the time that we have. Yeah, I will always be proud of our story, of the relationship we share. I will always be proud na parehas tayo, Mare, magmahal. Kaya ayon, Mare, wherever you are right now, I hope that you are happy and I hope that you are proud. And I hope that you are also okay wherever you are right now. I know you are. I know you are. I am very confident that you are. I can see you smiling. Please guide us. Please help us. Please continue to pray for us there. Kunasan ka man I will always be proud of you and what you have become. I will always tell your story with my head up high because I know that in this lifetime, the seven good long years of beautiful friendship beside someone who lived a life dedicated to serve God and others, they will all see the genuine goodness in your heart and they will also be inspired. I'm sure they will be. Padayon kami mare. Together with Mars Ivan, ang ating ngongong friend, and all the Bayouts, the BNT, Joga Girl Mon Mon, Sila Wali Girl Shinli, Libres, Maring Rail, and all the Cadena Tours, the Damshis, the Kangongers, and everyone else who trusts and believes in us. Padayon. Ito ang pamilya natin. At ito ang itataguyod namin. And we will make you proud. And we will also take care of Tita, Queen's mother, Sila Ate Suzanne, Ate G, Tuya Louise. They will all be in our prayers. Rest in paradise, Mare. Rest well. I love you. Forever and ever. Alam mo yan, kahit hindi ko nasabihin.